Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet a bullion stitch flower. To do this, I'm using less than 10 yards of worsted weight yarn and a size G crochet hook. To begin, make a slip knot and then chain four. Slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. For round one, start with a chain one. That chain one does not count as a stitch. In this ring, make 10 half double crochet stitches. Two, three, four, and keep going around for a total of 10. At the end, I fasten off my yarn at the last stitch instead of doing a slip stitch. Then I insert my hook from behind the stitch and pull that yarn end through to the back. This closes up the ring, yet doesn't add an extra stitch from the slip stitch. Plus it creates a flatter surface along the edge of the circle shape. Since this is a flower that won't be washed or stretched much, I just tie a knot it on the back and cut off the ends. With the main color of the flower, in this case pink, I make a slip knot on my hook. Then I insert it into any stitch along the circle and make a slip stitch. Then I chain four, skip a stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch and repeat this process again. Chain four, skip one stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch. Repeat this again. Chain four, skip one, slip stitch. You'll continue this around the ring two more times. Once completed, you'll have a total of five loops around the circle. Now it's time to prepare for the Boolean stitches. I like to use a size D crochet hook along with my G hook. I place the D hook upside down so the end faces the G hook's hook section. Then I tape both of them together in the center with regular office tape. Start with the slip stitch into the next loop. Then chain three. In order to do the Boolean stitch, place both hooks inside the yarn loop. Now we're going to wrap our yarn around five times. Push the loops up a bit. Insert into the chain loop and draw up a yarn loop. Push all of those loops right off of the hook while slightly pulling the hook through. And that's it. That's a Boolean stitch. Chain one to hold the stitch in place. For the second Boolean stitch, we're going to wrap it around seven times. Start by placing both hooks in the yarn loop. This time we're going to do seven wraps. Follow the same procedure as before. Insert hook into the chain loop, yarn over, then push the loops right off the hook while slightly pulling the hook upwards to help things along. Chain one. For our third Boolean stitch, insert both hooks into the loop again. This time we're going to go back to the five wraps. This helps taper the flower petal a bit. Insert into the chain loop, yarn over, then push all of the loops off and pull the hook up a bit. This time we're going to finish with a chain three. Then slip stitch into the chain loop. And there's our first petal. We're going to do the remaining four petals using the same pattern. Start with a slip stitch in the next loop, Chain three. Do the first five wrap Boolean stitch. Followed by a seven wrap and a five wrap. Chain three. Then slip stitch into the same chain loop. There's the second petal. Repeat this for all five petals. 
You can glue or sew on a button in the middle. And that's how I make a Boolean stitch flower. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.